Hi, it's Lipstick Gal. Thanks so much for watching today. I've got the two new pedophores from Viseart to play with today. I'm kind of excited to try these. Um, there is this one here called the Tyrion, and I'm sure it's because it has some lovely purple tones in there. And the other one is called the Epice and um, the praline epice. So it's like their original praline, but it has a little bit more of a spicy note to it. I've always loved this quad format when they put out these pedophores. I have been absolutely devoted to them. They did release some this spring or summer and I was like, mm. that's the first time I didn't buy all the pedophores. Um, and for holiday this year, they came out with these two guys, but I kind of wish they'd come out in November. All right, so uh, I have a little bit of concealer on my lid. I have it set with powder, and I'm gonna dip into this one here first. You know me and a purple eyeshadow. We do not always get along, but we're gonna see. I think the best thing to do is to start with the lightest shade, it's a cream shade. And I am just gonna get this like right up here next to the brow bone. I feel like this has just a hint of pink in it. I am not usually a purple eyeshadow kind of person and this shade here is very deep, but I'm gonna pick it up lightly on a Sonia G brush. I'm going to build it right out here. Ooh, that's a lot of color. More than I was expecting. So I'm going to flip it over to the other side. So keep in mind, I'm not a makeup artist, just a makeup enthusiast. Um, I love playing with makeup. Um, and I've always really liked the formula of the pedophores. I feel like sometimes um, the metallics are a little bit different here than they are in the Etendu palettes. Maybe that's just my imagination. I feel like the foils are just stunning. I've always liked the way that things blend from the brand, um, but with my really fair complexion, I have to be careful that I don't get too much contrast going on, which is why this color here, <laughs> has me slightly worried. I feel like this purple eyeshadow bested me. It's a matte, um, but I feel like it's a little bit patchy right in through here. Um, we have it kind of grabbing a little bit here. I had trouble with it in the crease. I picked up a smaller brush just to see if I could kind of smooth it out. And I always feel like my natural hair brushes do really well with Viseart. Um, I feel like I'm having less problems on this side, so maybe I did not set the concealer down very well but I feel like um, this is not usually what I'm used to seeing a matte from Viseart. It could be the color, this kind of really deep purple. Um, I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna use both of the metallics. I'm gonna lay the darker purple over the bulk of the lid and this more champagne shade kind of in the inner corner and maybe tapped over the top. Let's see what happens. Maybe, maybe I should just use my finger. I feel like it laid down pretty well with my finger. I am gonna take just a minute to kind of make sure it blends here. I'm gonna try and keep it mainly on the lid. And then I've got this champagne shade here and I'm just gonna tap it on the inside corner and then just make sure that I carefully highlight that tear duct. I'm picking up just a little bit more of that light matte shade and I'm gonna try and just kind of blend the edge here just a little bit more. Last thing I'm gonna do is pick up a combination of both the matte and the metallic purple and just give myself a little bit down here. I'm gonna place it lightly with this and buff it out with something else. Because my goal is to have a soft but um, very diffused lower lash line that kind of meets here at the corner. To finish this look, I'm going to throw on some liner and mascara, and I'll be right back for some swatches. This is the look that I came up with. I used a little bit of black liquid liner and some tubing mascara. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I can still see there are places where I feel like I was struggling to blend this really deep purple, but let me show you the swatches. All right, so here is that really light champagne shade. Here is the light matte that almost looks like a slight pinky version of my skin tone. Here is the matte. This one I had problems swatching. I had to put like three layers on because it was really, it was patchy with the finger swatch. It applies better with a brush 
which sometimes happens with things like this, but this one here is my favorite. I like that there is um, kind of the ability for this to kind of look gray or really purple with kind of a pink shift to it, depending on how the light hits it. I think that's a really special quality. Um, this one here and this one here are pressed a little firmer than I'm used to the foils from Viseart being pressed. And on top of that, they felt a little bit dry to the touch. I'm used to the foils in the Pedophore quads feeling just a little bit creamier overall. And when you lay them down, they adhere really well. I felt like I had to work kind of hard to get this one to lay down and this one. But what I ended up doing is picking it up on a brush, spraying, some setting spray and then applying it. Um, but then I have to be careful that if I do too much of that, sometimes it can bring additional texture to my more mature lids. So just some things to keep in mind. Um, I feel like this one here, I'm gonna have to keep playing with, but it, it took me more work than I thought it was going to. All right, I'm gonna go take this eye look off and we'll be back to play with the Praline Epice. Let's dig into this one. This is the Praline Epice. There is another Praline palette. Last year they came out with a second part to one of their original Pedophore quads. I'm just gonna start with this uh, brown here. I think this might be the only matte, yes it is, in the palette. So I'm gonna use that on a slightly fluffy brush and I'm just gonna sweep it through the crease. Um, so when they launched these originally, this Pedophore style of quad in 2020, they had a shade called Praline, which is kind of like warm with goals. And then they had a shade called Lilas. And last year for holiday, they released a Lilas Dew, which is like a Lilas part two. Um, and I feel like that's kind of what they're doing here as well. And this is not necessarily like a second part, really. It just feels like it's um, slightly different. I'll bring out the Praline and we'll take a look at them side by side. But I really feel like, although this definitely has praline feels to it. I definitely feel like um, this epice, which means spice in French, it definitely has a little bit of a different overall feel. It's a little bit cooler and I feel just slightly, um, and maybe it's these two shades right here. These guys here feel a little bit cooler. These really remind me of the original praline. I'm going to take that same brown color and just want to down across the lower lash line. I'm really curious to see and to feel what this color looks like. Oh, what a pretty brown. I like that it has kind of like a slightly cooler taupey lean to it. I'm just gonna tap this right over the outside edge here, over that uh, first brown that I laid down. But I'm gonna keep it as close to just on the lid as possible. So I, one of the reasons that I've always loved Viseart um, products is their eyeshadows never bring out, even though they do have some sparkle and shine to them, they never bring out any additional texture on my eyelids. Um, I'm gonna, ooh. This is, this is the feel that I'm used to feeling um, for Viseart eyeshadows, these metallics that have a slightly softer, almost a buttery feel to them, and then just lay down looking like um, like a molten shade. So pretty. I really feel like the metallics in this palette are different. The formula feels different than um, what I was trying in the other palette. I'm just going to clean off this brush here and then I'm going to take a minute to kind of just blend everything together. And that light gold shade, I'm really just going to hit it right here in the inner corner. I can also tell that I have some fallout here. Um, I'm gonna use a brush to see if I can just, you know, maybe a little bit of powder on there and just kind of whisk it away. Oh yeah, that works. I also really like that taupe shade, so I'm gonna take a little bit of it and just hit kind of like the center of the bottom lash line with it. Obviously, this eyeshadow palette and I are um, talking a little bit better, but I do feel like there's a textural difference, and it could be that purples are just harder to formulate, I know that, but this sort of a neutrally but slightly cooler leaning um, praline, this is beautiful. All right, let me throw on some liner, some mascara, and I'll be right back. Here's a look that I came up with, and it's 
pretty obvious. I feel like this is more in my comfort zone color wise, um, but I feel like there's an interesting difference texturally in the two palettes. Um, so here are the swatches uh, and these are all finger swatches. When I was swatching um, the Tyrion palette, I needed to pull out brushes and I did use setting spray for certain ones. And these are just, you know, a couple of swirls in the pan and this is what you get. I really love this kind of cooler and more taupey shade. Uh, this, this is a really pretty uh, matte shadow, but this is the darkest that we get. And if you have fair skin like me, this is gonna be beautiful on you. If you don't have skin as fair as mine, I'm not sure that this mid-tone brown I mean, I feel like it could be a little bit darker. Um, I really do like this kind of coppery shade here and uh, this really pretty yellowy gold. I feel like the color story is perfect, but I feel like it maybe it wouldn't have enough oomph for somebody who isn't as fair as me. Something to keep in mind. You're definitely gonna get more color and more pigment out of the Tyrion palette. All right, let's take a look at how these palettes compare to others. This right here is the Praline Epice, and here is the original Praline palette. I feel like there is a lot more warmth in this, but I feel like these golds are really similar. I do like that we have the taupe shade in here, but I like that this matte is a little bit darker. They're very, very similar. I don't know that if you have one, you would need the other. This one right here is the Amelie. This was released last year and it's one of their warm tone palettes. You can see this one here is decidedly cooler um, with that taupe shade and even the brown in there. This is definitely um, kind of more um, warm and orange in tone compared to this. This right here is the Chocolat. So if you're looking at these, I feel like they're very different, but it's the closest out of all of them to the original Praline palette. I don't know that you would need both. Out of curiosity, let's take a look at this next to um, the shades in the Kashmiri palette. I feel like we have, you know, maybe a few similarities with this shade right here and this one. But other than that, I don't know, I don't feel like they're terribly close. But could you get a look like this from Kashmiri? Absolutely. If you were curious, um, this is the new Kashmiri Charmeuse. It's definitely got more kind of pink and lavender tones in there. It's decidedly cooler. Right here is the Paris Love Letter. And I feel like, you know, we do have this slightly cooler shade here and the matte in here is a little bit cooler, but I feel like you could probably get a similar-ish look out of this. Um, this has a few more pastels in it, but I was thinking about other palettes that were kind of warm Vizier palettes. I feel like this is the closest to the original Praline palette, but let's take a look at the Tyrion. So here is the Tyrion. This right here is the Lilas Dew. Um, I don't feel like they're terribly similar. Um, this has some cool tones in it, but this I feel like leans definitely a little bit cooler and has a little bit more vibrant purpleine, especially with this shade right here. So this right here is the Lavande, and you only have one metallic in here and a lot of purples. I feel like maybe this shade here would look good with some of the purples in here, and I feel like you could probably use these together if you're looking for something that's a little bit more purple, but I don't know that they're even remotely similar. Not at all similar, but I was really cu curious. Uh, this right here is the Violetta, and I definitely feel like these are completely different. This was one of last year's holiday releases. No similarities here. This is the Cashmere, the Cashmere Charmeuse. I don't really feel like this and this. I mean, you could probably use them together. They probably work really well, but I'm not sure that they feel very similar. Here is the one that I was curious about this purple um, for the shade in here. This is the Violette Vespertine. So I don't have the original Violette palette. I don't wear purples that are that brilliant. Um, these are the sorts of shades if I'm going to be wearing, you know, kind of cooler and quote unquote purpley tones are going to look more like this. But I'm thinking about this shade right here and the metallic in this one here that they kind of have a similar feel. What's interesting is that if I'm thinking about the difference between like the original Cashmere palette and this one here, I feel like the metallics 
are super buttery. They just pick right up on your finger. And I feel like the ones in here are just a little firmer press. Some of them are really nice, but this one especially, it feels like it is just a little bit harder to pick up and slightly drier. And I don't know if it's because they press them a little bit harder or if the formulation is different between the Etandu palettes. And I feel like the problem that I had with this, where some of the metallics felt a little dry and difficult to pick up, I was having that similar experience here. And part of me wonders if it's because they're kind of purple leaning palettes and purple eyeshadows have been notoriously difficult to formulate. I, I feel like this one here is really pretty. I love this shade. I really like this shade here. But I don't know how frequently I'm gonna reach for this because the matte in here is a little bit difficult for me. I'm gonna try it with some synthetic brushes. I was hoping that natural hair brushes would kind of just like make it all come together. If you're curious and you already have a large Pettifor collection or a large collection of Viseart, the only one that I feel that is different is this one here, but this felt a little bit difficult to work with. Now, just keep in mind, I'm not a makeup artist. I do like to play with color, but purple is always one that makes me kind of hold my breath and go, Oh, please let's turn out good. Um, I really do like this uh, this one here. This is the Praline Epice. But if you already have the Praline palette, this one, the difference is we've got some cooler tones in here and I feel like um, it doesn't go as dark. But I feel like if you already have a lot of warm quads or even warm palettes from Viseart, you could probably get something remarkably similar by pulling out that palette. Now, if you're like me and you kind of feel like, oh, I need to have all of them, um, I'm glad to have this and I know I'm gonna use it. I really have been loving this kind of neutral look with a slightly cooler lean to it. And that is gonna be perfect for me. And this is like a super easy everyday sort of eye look. I think this is great. Now, are they worth it? I think they are, um, but I would definitely you know, caution you if you already have a large Vizier collection, this is kind of similar to what's already out there. And this one, although it does have some differences in it, I felt like it was just a little bit hard to handle. Thank you so much for watching today. I would love to know if you're a Vizier fan, have you been picking up some of their new releases like these Etendu palettes, or did you get either of these little Pettifor quads? I really, really love this formula. Like, especially more like this format, I would say. Like, I love the quads so much. Um, I didn't pick up the ones that came out this spring or early summer, um, and there were three there, and those are the only ones, because I just knew I wasn't gonna use colors like that. But these two new ones here, they really call to me, and I'm glad to have them. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if you're shopping for more petite, kind of compact color stories, or if you're kind of a purple or a neutral person. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. I will see you again soon.